Let's get some insights in the news shaping the markets. It's always nice to see Stephen Orr, CEO of Khoisar Markets. Good morning to you, sir. How are you feeling? Eight days in a row of gains for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. VIX at 1280. How are you feeling? Good morning, Nicole. Absolutely. I mean, the markets have been pushing higher. We talked about that and buying the dips. And uh, look, we look supposedly supposed to go in these summer doldrums, but uh, I'm not seeing that right now. It looks like people aren't quite as happy as they had been, but they're still investing and with a little bit of profit taking today. But I still think we continue to push higher. I think the markets seem to want to go higher uh, eight days in a row. Obviously, got to take a little profit off, but I think we go even higher here going into the summer as people see the elections coming up. Now, people are a little bit concerned about the elections. It's very tight. But to be quite honest with you, I think we go higher. All right. Um, what's going to drive us higher? What do you think will be the catalyst and what sectors do you think have the most potential to gain? Yeah, it's obvious. Tech, tech, tech. We're already seeing that in the semiconductor space already. NVIDIA pushing up here as well. Uh, but I have two big picks today. We'll talk about that too as well, as I believe tech is still going to go higher. Um, it is pushing the limits. Um, we saw Apple coming out with the new iPad, uh, the new pencil. I think we're gonna, really going to move higher with the tech. All right. Well, I do want to hear about the names that you're bringing us today. Give us the first one. All right, the first one here is IBM. It's big blue. And the reason for that is all the AI talk, we need one thing, and that is quantum computing. Quantum computing is very important in this world. And I'll tell you, IBM, big blue, has a nine-year head start on every other company. They've also in a situation where two things are going on. The first thing they're doing is they have built a machine, and that thing is called Quantum System 2. Um, it is running at 1,000 qubits, a little north of New York City. And I'll tell you, they are putting this machine in a machine in a place that is literally they call it colder than deep space and it is not making things up it is literally not emulating a lot of quantum computers are emulating uh their co computing power and they are not it's actual true blue computing and i i think that's a big winner coming up and i love this dip nicole this thing has been a great dip and i have been buying right here pretty heavily yeah oh buying heavily i like it um, and then you also have Palantir, right? Yeah, you know what, well, Palantir is also another AI name. And I'll tell you one of the things, they had a beat on earnings, 21%, another dip buyer here, I think. But here's the one thing when I look at companies, when I look at their stocks, when I look at the actual bottom line is cash flow. And they have $4 billion cash on hand. That's a lot of money and no debt. So they literally can be bought here on this dip. I like Palantir for the AI name too as well, as they have a lot of customers, including the United States government, and that's always a big customer. So I do like Palantir here. What do you think about a portfolio? You talk about portfolio optimization. Really, yeah, you what know, is one the thing optimal I... portfolio looking like? Yeah, you know, that's a very good point. Uh, with quantum computing, I do believe that the machines will actually be able to look at a person and say, okay, I know what you like, I know who you are, and I will make my portfolio around you, actually. And so they will have some portfolio optimization. Now, in a portfolio right now, before quantum computers comes out, I think right now that a person should be a little longer than they expected right now. We are seeing a little bit of profit taking here on Friday, but honestly, I'm, I'm buying every dip going into this. Um, consumer confidence has gone a little bit lower and we are seeing a little bit of a dip here and unfortunately some people have lost their jobs over the last uh, week or two but i i think the markets are still good they're, they're pricing this in and i still think we're going to see two rate cuts uh coming here before december tell me about november um not as a political person but as a um investor yeah, what as are you an investor. Watching? How are you positioning? What do we need to know? Yeah, as an investor, I don't really care who wins the election. I just want to be ahead of that, right? I just want to make sure that that person is looking at my portfolio. So right now, we know that Trump has picked a bunch of people that are in the oil business. I uh, went to Mar-a-Lago over the last month. So obviously, the oil will probably be a good place to be uh, investing in if, if he wins the election. If Biden wins the election, obviously, electric vehicles will continue to push higher. Um, I think you'll start to see companies that have been beaten up, like Rivian, will start to move higher, too, as well. Uh, I personally just bought a hybrid myself. We bought a, a BMW X5, the hybrid. We've moved away from gasoline ourselves. So look, I think that the EV space for Biden and I think oil space for Trump.
All right, I'm writing that down. Thank you. Trump also said, if you want crypto, you should pick me. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I'm looking at it on the market side of things. Stephen Orr, great to see you. Thank you.